Hey, how are you? Got a video here on the pros and the cons of running an independent insurance agency, the stuff you should be aware of before jumping into it, or if you're already into it, the stuff that you can maybe maximize or stay away from. So let's dive into it. So as always, if you're getting any value from these videos, please, I would really appreciate if you do subscribe, ring the bell, give us a like, drop a comment of something you want to hear about. We're going to be doing another video here soon, answering everybody's comments that I have missed and shouting you out. So keep an eye out for those. And guys, please show some love. Please subscribe. Really, really appreciate it. So let's dive straight into the pros and the cons of running an independent insurance agency. So the number one thing, and I'll start with the pros, um, you know, because these are, it's a great business to be in. So let's just dive into a few of the things. The number one thing is there's no major insurance carrier hanging over your shoulder, watching over your shoulder, no district managers popping in saying, hey, Chris, you know, what's up with the sales this month? You're low on auto insurance. You're low on this. You're low on that. You know, we do have contracts with several different companies, independent, you know, I mean, uh, not independent companies, but we're with several other carriers, several carriers. And with those carriers, we do have requirements that we need to meet, but it's not super strict as I've seen in other companies, um, captive companies, which I won't name drop anybody because I'm this is showing love to everybody. So um, another really, really great thing, a pro is you're free to brand and market your business however it is you want. Like I can make these videos, I can go on Facebook, do Facebook ads, I can do TikTok, I can do whatever I want to do my marketing and branding. That to me was one of the most important things when it came to you know, running my agency because I believe we're moving into a digital landscape and that is massive for, I think, awareness of your business. So that to me was a big one. Um, another thing is the, actually the flex, the flexibility between the carriers. So being able to say, Hey, you know, this isn't the right fit for you. Maybe let's check out another company, having that service where you can really go to the next option or to find the best option for your customer. That was huge to me. I didn't feel right just showing one product and being like, <clears throat> Hey, this is all I got for you. Um, you know, and then trying to sell it. Like I just feel I want to accommodate stuff for my customers. <clears throat> That's a big pro to me being having the flexibility between multiple companies. Um, a big one for me as well. These are all another, this is another pro um, being able to work on the big deals. Like I love the excitement of coming in here and potentially getting a $250,000 policy or a hundred thousand dollar policy. Um, something big, something that's like going to make a big pop and move the book. Um, I didn't necessarily see those when I was working at other captive companies. Um, so I mean, there's still definitely out there. I just think there's more flexibility It goes back to the flexibility, but the big stuff is, ex I think exists more on the independent side. Um, another pro you can own and sell your book. This is another massive thing. When people come to me and ask me, how do I get, you know, working with these alliances and whatnot? I always tell them number one thing, most important thing is make sure you own your book so that if you walk away one day and you say, I'm over it, I'm done with this. I want to sell. You can sell your book of business. That's another massive point. It's almost like building equity. So not only are you getting your commissions and doing everything, but you own your asset as well. It's very, very important um, to running your insurance agency. Um, and then lastly, just the freedom to be able to build your business kind of goes back to like the freedom of marketing, but, um, just being able to build however you want to build instead of using a mold or like a franchise, maybe, um, you get to build however it is that you want to build. And I think it's more for true entrepreneurs, um, because yeah, there's a little help. So I'll dive into the, with that, I'll dive into the cons. So number one con that I noticed is that there's no support. Like you don't have, um, you know, your back end, uh, franchise company to have your back when stuff hits the fan. It's just like you're by yourself. There's no one to help you, um, structure even the phone systems or, or the office or, um, the marketing or there's no, yeah. So, that another con is it's very lonely. You're by yourself. So <clears throat> if you're not comfortable with that and you do need, you know, to bounce stuff off of people constantly and you need support and you need those kinds of things and you're not okay being lonely um, and being kind of on your own, like a lone wolf, 
um, like the Adelphia Wolf. Shout out to that. Um, then it's probably not the right route for you. Um, it's a lonely business, especially as you start to grow. It's just, and as I say, you hear this stuff all the time, like it's, it's lonely at the top or whatever. Um, whatever. I mean, it does, you do, you do notice you're kind of on your own. So, um, when stuff is getting hard, I've noticed it the most when stuff gets hard, it's just like, there's no one to really turn to. You're just kind of like by yourself here in the office. So, um, with that also another con, there's very little product training. Like there's no one to really, um, you know, like if you work at a captive company, you can really, you can just jump into their, you know, training programs or have like a seminar or have somebody come in and help train on the products. Um, there's just more support for that. And in the independent agencies, you have these contracts, but they're not really, you're, they're not your number one concern. So they're not really trying to give you product training and they, they do exist. It's just, I think it's less than what you would see in a, in a, in a captive company. Um, there's also, yeah, like I said, no marketing budgets. They're not handing out anything to you. You're as an independent, you're really purely starting from scratch. Like you're doing everything from scratch. So no marketing budgets. Um, another con is there's no book. Like they don't give you a book to start with. You have to, if you want to get another book, you have to buy your book, What you can do. It's expensive, but it's definitely another way people grow their businesses quickly. Uh, but a lot of, I've seen a lot of other agencies out there, they get handed, like they'll start them off with like a half a million dollar book of business or a $2 million <laughs> book of business, which is amazing because you can start to really cross sell off of that and customers refer based on good service. But when you're starting from scratch, you're literally starting from a little zero, nothing, and you're building up a little snowball and, and just kind of build it up and building it up uh, but versus starting from um, you know halfway through the marathon already right um, another one is there's no brand name behind you like you have to build your brand there's no you know all state state farm farmers you know all these different companies that exist out there that are massive marketing like they're in the middle of the Super Bowl and they're in the middle of all these NBA games and like they're on TV every other commercial like there's nobody marketing for you. You do all your marketing. It all has to be shaking hands, kissing babies, doing your thing. Um, and then lastly, the con of running an independent insurance agency or brokerage is that it's an extremely slow business. Um, it takes a lot of time to build up your book um, and to see your money back your, that you're putting into it. You put in a lot of times, you put in more money than you're making and it takes you a year, two or three years to even see your money back but after that, it does kind of come back to you in perpetuity. And it's, and it's, and for, for that reason, I think it's a great business. So obviously I started with the pros then I went into the cons. Don't let that discourage you at the end of the day. Like I said, I love this business. I think it's a great you know, business. I'm excited every day. It keeps me, it's just, it keeps me entertained. If you like talking to people, if you're a good people person, and if you like selling and you like educating and helping people, like it's just a good business overall, like across the board. It teaches you how to be well-rounded in accounting, marketing, sales, um, coaching for hiring. Like it's just, it's got everything. That's the, that's the beauty of the business. And, um, and it's a sustainable business too. I believe that insurance is, is, a, is a very solid industry and it's not really necessarily going anywhere. Be prepared because I believe in the next five years, five to 10 years, we're going to see major shifts in the way that insurance is going to play out for um, the market and consumers. Like it's going to be a lot more, AI driven <clears throat> AI. So, um, and also like voice commands is going to kind of come in where people are going to be using Siri or they're going to be using Alexa, or they're going to be using different types of, um, those tools that exist nowadays to find insurance because that's kind of lowest resistance. Um, and instead of going on Google and typing it in, they're going to be using more of that. Um, <clears throat> AI, is going to be implemented for servicing. You're not necessarily going to need as many people possibly. Um, there's going to be also blockchain technology. So, you know, with that smart contracts that are going to come up, if you're not familiar with blockchain and smart contracts, that's something you should probably get up to speed with at least do minimal research on it because it will impact the insurance industry in the next five to 10 years. So those are kind of a few things I, I predict, but overall I love the business. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to make these videos for you. My number one goal is to make, you know, a bigger impact and bring more value than anyone else in the insurance industry across the board. Um, I think I'm starting to make small, you know, progress towards that. And hopefully people are getting some value from this. Like I said, if you do, please like, please comment, please subscribe, ring the bell if you can so that you get notifications when I make these new videos and try to help you get on your path to success and beat me 
um, on the journey to the top. So with that, um, if you need any more help, go to chriscostantini.com. I do the consulting calls. All my other stuff is on there. I'm going to be releasing the ebook soon. I got to finish that. But as promised, I will get it done. And I will see you guys at the top. Thanks so much for following. I'm going to make another video, like I said, answering everyone's questions live and shouting you out. So if you want to be shouted out, ask a question and I will throw your name in and um, we will shout you out and answer your questions. So that's all I got. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you at the top. Peace.